Hey guys, it's Anne and it's a perfect time to decorate for fall. It's not that I'm rushing through summer because the truth is that I'm gonna sit on the beach all the way through September and even into October if it lets me. But I love to get my home ready for fall because before you know it, it's time to decorate for Christmas. So usually mid-August, I start decorating for fall. I'm also gonna start decluttering today because things have gotten out of hand. So join me as we discuss the whole process of decorating for fall in the primitive home. Here we go. which I've had all year, and just one easy blanket draped over the top. Really simple, nothing much going on. Now you can see I've got some things here that I've went, gone and pulled out of the closet. I've got my old fashioned shoes, which I think of as kind of witchy, and a nice gold basket. On the wall here, I have one of my newer prints. This is actually a Rembrandt copy, and Oh wow, I just love it. I think it's just the best. I mean, Rembrandt, you know, who can beat Rembrandt with his style of painting and his skill? But I love this because it, it just brings you back to very old ancient times. And I think that little girl is just beautiful. So young woman, I guess she's a young woman, but she's just beautiful. So I've got her on that wall. I like her there. But now we do have some competing things going on. We have the which and then we have her then we have the step back cabinet now i've got on the step back cabinet my little witch's dress which i really love to pull out and then i went into the back room and also pulled out things like my witch's tavern sign and i've got some paintings here that we're going to look at in a little while i'm going to start changing things out for decorating this is still very plain. There's more going on now by Abigail and John. I've got the books and the light and the pussy willows and the candlestick. You know, honestly, it's not that there's too much there, but there might be more than I can take with my threshold. So we're gonna deal with that. And then the cloak, that's gonna stay. I just really like it there. And this lone make-do chair which I'm sorry, it's silhouetted, is, is gonna stay here too. Now, one thing I love about this room is I do have the door and I have two huge windows. And to me, those are accessories. I also have this witch's lamp. So this is kind of a very important room for me. I wanna keep it as sparse as possible, 
to really accentuate the primitive stuff. So even right now in this minimalistic area, I've got too much going on. Let's look over here in the tavern. Now I have a lot going on in the tavern now. Part of the reason is a couple weeks ago, I went and found this tavern table that I fell in love with. It was a really good price and I picked it up. So when I brought that home, I had to do something with it. And I ended up making a little seating area very close to the fireplace. Of course, when we start fires, we're not gonna want that chair right there. And then over at the tavern bar area, see I have my three bar stools, if you can see them there. They're kind of making for a crowded area. The bar area is looking okay, but as I'm thinking about fall, and this is a very fall look, I do have that picture there. And to me, that picture is spring, summer, 4th of July. So that's gonna have to go in storage. Over here on the mantle, we have George and Martha, and they are great. They could stay out year around, and I was thinking of just keeping them year round but I am gonna change it out just because I have the other paintings to do it and I'd like to get one of Grandpa's paintings up there and really set the scene for fall. These guys are great because they're gonna come out, maybe not at Christmas, maybe they will, who knows, and then they'll come out again in January and they'll sit out here pretty much all summer into uh, fall again. So they have a very good, um, seasonal they can just stay out all year right okay so the other thing we have going on over here is i've got these tables that we made and although i love these tables and i love them in here i also want them in the barn where i've made another tavern area and that tavern area is for when we have guests so i'm going to move them to the barn today also these chairs I purchased them two years ago right before I had the magazine shoot from a primitive place here and I don't like them in here anymore because now my house has gone decidedly primitive. So they're all going to have to go. Over here is this wonderful table that will stay and the bench. These are two things that definitely tell me it's a tavern. And then I've got this really nice little stuffed crow. Got her from Woodstock Country Shop and I'll tell you she just kind of makes the area and says fall but when you look around everything else is is pretty non-committal to a season so it works and over here i've got the ship that could stay out into the fall and the winter but again because i have other things that i'd like to put there i'm going to put that in storage so over here now i don't know uh, i'm going to close this Okay, over here, we have something that I call redundancy. There's really, it's really not necessary to have a candle, buy a candle lamp, you know? So that to me causes some visual clutter and bothers me. So that's going to go. The walls, they stay the same. I mean, they are, they look good. They look really good. I'm cool with this little bit of, it almost looks like um, a local tavern wall where you'd have some advertising and other things. So I've kind of done that in this part of the tavern. And then again, in keeping with that, I have my auction sign. So over here on the table, I do have one of my old bowls. And I think that these are worth investing in to get the original old trencher bowls. They're not that expensive, not that much more than a real one. I mean, a, a new one. And I have my beautiful rug by Paula Brown, thank you. And I threw, for now, just some Indian corn in there because, well, hey, why not? So that is what's going on here and we're gonna transform this room. Now we're going over into the family room. All right, there's a lot going on in here. First of all, we've had Dewey's pen and we just moved that for today. But I'm looking around and I'm seeing things that I wanna change. I feel like my ancestors there with the pewter isn't gonna work for me for the fall. I'd like to warm it up a little. I've got, I feel like this blanket on this couch is looking too busy. In fact, this blanket on the couch looked too busy and so I just folded it up and threw it on the side. 
Over here, you can see I have one of my sea captains over the mantle, and I'm feeling like this is too crowded. If you guys look at it, people would say, hey, that's a fine mantle, but we've got the two lanterns, the sea captain, and those plants in the pewter, and my eyes are competing. Part of it is there's so much going on in this room, and this room is so busy that that just adds to the busyness. So I'm gonna take that down and make it really minimal. And over here, we've got these two chairs with the red pillows. I like this area. I'm gonna keep it as such because I think it works for me right now. And then we have one of my little portraits on the wall. She's an eight by 10. I feel like she doesn't fit that area well. Do you see what I mean? She feels kind of dwarfed there. And then three things, because I do things in threes or odd numbers, on that shelf, and this is super cool. I'm sorry for the backlighting. Uh, it's very bright in the windows here right now. But I picked up this lantern from Woodstock Country Shop, and I love it. All right, coming into the front hall. Yes, I did it again, guys. All right, but let's start with the bear, because this was the Russian bear. And this is a little wooden shoe, which has nothing to do with primitive or anything, but it has to do with ancestry. And it was given to my mother from our neighbor next door who meant a lot to us when we were growing up, and she passed it on to me. So that's there as a little reminder of my heritage. And then here we've got this really nice um, wreath that I picked up a couple years ago. I love it on this door, part of it because it's so warm. And yesterday I went and picked up this gem. Now I don't know what it is guys about me and big stuffed witches. I obviously have a thing for big stuffed witches. But I was really drawn to her. I liked her face because it looked like the moon and it was just so haggy and wicked witch of the west. And then she's got these hands that are like gnarly and cool. And that just really set me off. I also love this broom because it looks like it could catch fire at any moment. And I stuff these little flowers in her hand just to bring some of this rust color into the scene because she's got some very dirty legs and I love her Wicked Witch of the West. Nylons or whatever we'd like to call them. I just love stockings, I guess. I just love this witch. So she's sitting here big as life. When you come into the house, you see her and it tells you it's fall and this is a primitive home and here we go. So. Now we're coming into this bedroom. This is for another day, but again, this is summer, springtime. I've had these white blankets on the bed. Everything's kind of white. It's kind of sea print. And this is gonna have a little makeover. But what I'm doing with these rooms is I'm not doing a big makeover. I'm not gonna, you know, go all overboard. Just a few things that we change out during the seasons. And we're going to go also into this bedroom. Now, guys, I love this bedroom. It's just little and sweet and cozy. And I got to tell you, most people love this bedroom. <laughs> it's kind of like one of the smallest bedrooms in the house. And yet it just really, really is beautiful. Part of the wonder about a small bedroom is you can be very particular with your pieces. You don't have to put a lot in. But you'll notice that I have some clothing on the wall, which makes it look lived in. The over the bed is very simple. Now, ideally, I'd like that wreath twice the size, and then that would be all I'd have there. But because that wreath was, wreath was so small, I had to go ahead and put the heart in there just to kind of let your eye travel from that tree to the light, to the heart, to the wreath, down to the other light, and then over to the clothing. So you have a definite trail for your eyes. Now this is a wonderful, sweet, summer, easy way to look, but we're gonna change this out with just a quilt. And then it's gonna be the perfect fall bedroom. So 
Let's take you through a little more of the house. And again, this is all just the introduction to how it looks and what we're gonna do. I would like to show you too that I ended up with my Nantucket sign down there. I mean, my Connecticut whaling sign down there. And again, you can tell it's just a really crowded area. Of course, when it really gets cold in November or so, we're going to be using that stove and we're gonna be taking the air conditioner out. It's not ready to do that yet though. And then this settle is just gonna have to move because we don't wanna block the heat from the rest of the room. Also, you'll notice how sweet just that scene is with a couple wooden bowls and a gourd. Done. It's so pretty. My blankets are all stored on those shelves overhead. I just, I just think this room is just beautiful. And this, of course, is the room that we spend most of our time in. And finally, we're coming into kitchen number one. I have my table big for six because I had a lot of company here. We all could eat in here and I'm having company again next week. And then um, maybe I'll take the table down. Maybe I'll keep it up through Thanksgiving and Christmas. I don't know, but it, it takes up some extra room in the kitchen, but it's very manageable. And it's really nice to have that extra space on the table. This area kind of is set up all the time for fall, really. It's all the browns, and but I'll probably mess with that a little bit. We're gonna talk about sunflowers, fake sunflowers, and we're gonna learn how to make them look old. These are not looking old. These are just Michael sunflowers, and we're gonna work on them. And then of course, over here in this space, everybody says how much they love this space in fact my mother just comes and says i want to sit there it's just inviting it looks like a tavern with the windsor chairs and the black sorry guys there is a fly flying around me <laughs> and the black uh the black table it's just so beautiful i wanted to keep it clean looking this is the sign that i made and my witch looks so nice there I've got those couple lights, which I have considered putting on the wall. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do that or not. And then to keep everything really simple, I pulled in that color into the table. But again, there's not a lot to do in here to make it full, but a couple little objects are gonna tell you what season it is without screaming at you. What you don't want to do is overdo anything. Here I've got my little picture from Kathleen. Thank you, my dear. And I pull that out every year because this is a Billy Jacobs and I love the frame. The frame is kind of, it's kind of a, well, it's just kind of rustic looking, but the size of it is perfect to slip into little places. So I really love that. I have a big one similar to this but not like this, it doesn't have all the jack-o'-lanterns and I just think this is a fun Halloween scene. So I love to put that out every year someplace. And over here, I just have a couple crocs, kind of covering up some ugliness in the wall. So this is the house I'm starting with. And I think that the first room that I'm gonna go into to decorate for fall is this one. We're gonna see a nice difference in here as I get rid of things and as I change some things out and we'll, I'll walk you through the whole process and you'll see the results. But again, this room is feeling too crowded to me now and I do have a threshold. I don't like to feel kind of in my head, you know? Does that make sense to you guys? Some people love to live with all their things around them and other people need a little bit of peace and calm. And I think it depends on what time in your life you're at and what your personality is like. There are a whole lot of things. So I'm not telling you that if you have a whole bunch in your house, you have to get rid of it because that is completely a personal decision. How you decorate in your house is personal. And I'm just giving you kind of a running dialogue about what's going in my mind here. 
So let's start in the tavern. All right, guys. I have to tell you, I've spent the whole day working on it. The house is looking so great, but this is all I'm gonna show you today. It's the preliminary tour, and on Tuesday, we're gonna start into the tavern and start to decorate it for fall. So make sure you sign up and ring the bell so that you'll get notified on the next video, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.